are grilling up some wonderful dishes today, aren't we, Bobby? We are. We're going to be starting off with one of Bobby's favorites, an ooey gooey grilled cheesy olive bread. Golly. Y'all need to make mm -hmm. this tonight. The next two fabulous grill skewer recipes start with a boneless sirloin and fideo onions. Then hot, hot, hot grilled cheese and bacon jalapeno poppers. Yes, 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 double yes. Finally, y'all are not going to believe our sinful grilled hair cobbler. Oh, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. I got my man baby in here with me, and <laughs> you're a man, but you're my baby. So that makes you my man baby. Got it. So what are we doing today, son? Well, Mom, today we're <laughs> grilling it. Everything that you see is gonna be grilled. And first off, we're gonna do a beautiful Italian olive bread. You know how much I've always loved olives. It's like my favorite thing. I know you love, love, love olives. In fact, when I was a kid and we would go to the grocery store together, I would always say, Mama, can I please get a jar of olives? And still to this day, I can walk by the sweets, you know, but I can't walk uh -huh. by, the, by the, the pickles olives. and the cheese and the olives and stuff like that. We're gonna make a great cream cheese spread to go with, well, not just cream cheese, we're gonna use an eight ounce package okay. of cream cheese, okay. a half stick butter. I got that in. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And how many olives are you putting in, Bobby? This is gonna be a half cup okay. of chopped olives. Okay. And we're gonna add it all together. And this is one of those great dishes, y'all, if you're outside uh, if on the barbecue grill. Easy, easy, easy. You can do all of this outside. And that pepper jack, Bobby, uh, is gonna give it a little bite. A little bit of it? kick, it is. That might be a little more than a half cup. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you know, can you have too much cheese or too no. much butter? No. You know, in fact, I'd probably even put more than that in it, Bobby. Keep grating. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> all right, so I'm just going to mix this up. You'll want to make sure that your butter and your cream cheese is at room temperature, so this will be easy. Okay, let's put some more. That's going to be about a cup of cheese we yes, got in Yes, I love it. Okay. Get that mixed up. You want to use the uh, hand mixer on it and maybe make it a little smoother and a little easier to spread on this bread? Yeah. Give it a couple of hits for me. All right. You know, olive and cheese spread, how can you go wrong? <laughs> Two of my favorite things. You know, it's funny. When Santa Claus comes to see Bobby every Christmas, <laughs> There's Talk about me like I'm two. <laughs> Santa always sticks a bottle of exotic olives. Always has. In his stocking. Always has. Now we're just gonna spread it on this bread. Okay, doll baby, so hit it. Golly, that's good, and that cheese gives it just the right amount uh -huh. of kick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can just about that just. That helps. <laughs> that <laughs> help? Please, yes. Golly. Y'all need to make mm -hmm. this tonight. <laughs> and y'all, we're just using a fresh olive loaf that we picked up at the bakery. There you go, sunny boy. So we're gonna okay. wrap this bread in tin foil. We're gonna put it on the griddle back here and we're just gonna roll it every couple of minutes until okay, it's just down. nice and, well, we're not trying to bake it. We're just trying to get the spread that we've just made okay, to down. melt inside the bread. All right, now we're gonna just sit that on there. We're gonna have to watch it. Yep. Cause our griddle's pretty hot. Well, do I have a treat for y'all today? We're gonna do a grilled pear cobbler. Bobby, you remember you made all the desserts when we were at, yep. um, when it was just the lady. I learned how to scrub pots and make desserts. Those yes. were my first, those were my, in that order, those were my, my first a, two duties. What a combination. And we've got eight pears that we're gonna peel, son. You know, I could grow pears, Bobby, out in the yard. You got everything under the sun growing in your garden and in your yard. Just gonna get these seeds out. And, and you're using a little melon baller. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna help you out here and I'm gonna pour up two cups of a pear nectar. And this is gonna be to sort of marinate those Well, pears when you make in. a cobbler, you always wanna have plenty of juice. And you can find this, y'all, in your fruit juice section at your grocery store. And I'm just gonna take these pears and I'm gonna toss them in that pear nectar. 
and then we're just gonna put these on our grill. Right. We're not really gonna cook them, yeah, you know, grill them until they're all cooked. The way through. We're just gonna get some marks on them. Yeah. And while you're grilling our pears, Bobby, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be mixing up our batter. Uh, this is real, real simple. All right, now. You Can I go, go ahead and get started? Yes, honey. You may have to turn up the, the grill. All right, now we've got like a, an eight by 11 pan, Bobby. And I'm just gonna pour the, a stick of melted butter in our dish. Yay. And over here, I'm gonna use two cups of our biscuit mix. Two cups of sugar. A cup and a half of half and half. And then we just whisk those together. All right, now I'm just gonna pour our batter over our butter. I'm gonna have you some pears here in just a second. Okay. Oh, Ooh. yum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All we have to do now is we're gonna take our leftover pear nectar. Right over the top. And we're just gonna pour this right over the top. And that is gonna be the juice for our pear cobbler. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna give it a nice, sweet flavor. I'm just gonna do a little cinnamon essence on top of them. And into the oven, 350? Into the oven, 350, for about 45 to 55 minutes. You know, ovens can vary. Perfect. All right. Y'all don't go anywhere. Coming up next, Bobby and our teaming up to cook these tasty sirloins and onion skewers, y'all. How many beans does it take? Take. <laughs> <laughs> then we're wrapping up these cheesy jalapenos with something special. Bacon, y'all. <laughs> I ain't never met a pig I didn't love, Bobby. <laughs> and later, you don't want to miss how we finish up our pear cobbler. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Oh gosh, I'm having more fun in here with Bobby. You know I really like you. Oh really? Yes, I mean, wow. you know you love your children. But I like you. That's a nice thing to say, Mama. That's I like more... you too. Do you like me better than you like Jamie? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope you don't see this show. <laughs> no, son. I like you equally. I know. I'm playing. I know. You're pulling my leg. All right. Well, tell them what we're doing now. Okay. We are making grilled boneless sirloin and five-day onion skewers, y'all. Now, I'm going to quarter these onions, Bobby. We're not going to need them yet. And I'm going to be making up the marinade for this. So what I'm going to do is mince up these garlic cloves, Bobby. I've got eight cloves. And son, you're cutting a two-pound boneless sirloin. And I'm just going to throw these in our dish. And you're cubing those into about two-inch cubes. Right. And this is a beautiful piece of meat. And you could use any kind of meat that you wanted. We just chose yeah. to use a sirloin today. I love sirloin. Cheaper cut of meat. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. But it's still and good. I mean, look at that. How delicious. beautiful that is. All right. Now, I'm going to measure out a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to pour that over our garlic cloves. Okay. And then I'm going to use the juice of one lemon. And if you'll give me a hand here, Bobby, I need a teaspoon of house seasoning, right. half a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of paprika, That's right. and then a teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna put in a little grated Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. So there you go, son. All right, now let's whisk that together. Okie doke. And you wanna start scooping up your meat and tossing it on in here. All right. And then I'm just going to take my hands and I'm just going to bathe them mm -hmm. in that marinade. We want to marinate this, y'all, for like an hour. All right, son, if you grab the plastic wrap back there, and we're just going to cover this up and we're going to toss it in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. I just love working with this stuff. I do too, Bobby. <laughs> Here, sonny boy. Here, I'll help you. Thank you. 
if you'll grab one end. Hey, wait, where are you going? I'm helping you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many beans does it take? Take <laughs> to wrap up a pan of meat. There we go. Maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need, need to get Jamie on the horn. <laughs> All right. All right, so Sunny Boy, you can put for, it, yeah. For about an hour. Put it in the bottom refrigerator drawer. And we're gonna move on down here to... Um, Real simple grilled uh, jalapeno wrapped in bacon. This is great for tailgating. Yes. You can do these ahead of time. You can grill them at home mm -hmm. and just wrap them in fall and take them for your, your ball games. That's right. So we cut the tops off and de-seeded six jalapenos. And if you would grate your pepper jack All cheese, right. okay. I will be chopping us up a couple of tablespoons of cilantro. Okay. And that's all that we're gonna put in these jalapenos. You can be a little original. You can really kind of use any kind of cheese you want to. I like the heat, I like a little spice. So. Yeah. So I'm we, pretty much always gonna use a pepper jack whenever I'm grating yeah. cheese. Especially for this. I mean, that's the theme of that. Yeah, you got hot on hot, don't you? Yes. All right, I've got about a half a cup of this cheese grated okay. here. Do you think that's enough or do we want more? Yes, son, throw it in that bowl. So in goes the cheese. In the cilantro. All right, we've got some wooden skewers, y'all, that we've had soaking in water. That will help prevent them from catching fire. on fire. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take our jalapenos and we're gonna take our cheese and we're gonna stuff them. And then I'm just gonna put this top back on it, mm -hmm. Ivy. And then skewer. I'm just gonna run that skewer yep. up it. And I've let my skewer, y'all, see it just barely peeping out. Mm -hmm. And now we're just gonna take our bacon and y'all, I'm gonna start at the top and you want to make sure, y'all, that you bring your bacon so it'll cover that cap and then just spiral it down. I ain't never met a pig I didn't love, by the <laughs> way. Grill's starting to get nice and hot. Good. You want me to test one? Yeah, baby. Yeah, these are going to be great. There you go, son. Now, these are only going to take a few minutes. We're going to roll them around on the grill just enough to make that bacon nice and crispy. I, I'm the sissy in the family. Uh, I can't eat stuff that's real or hot. But these are like addictive. Well, today's your lucky day. <laughs> these are like addictive. So y'all stick around. Up next, we're ready to sink our teeth into these spicy jalapeno poppers. Look a here, look a here. Then we're grilling off our sirloin skewers and giving this meal a taste. Mm. Are these things not perfect together, son? Mm. And later, we're finishing off the world's greatest pear cobbler, y'all. I wish y'all could taste this so bad. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Yes, 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 double yes. Y'all, just look at these bacon wrap jalapeno poppers. Look a here, look a here. And you know what? They're really pretty, too. Don't they're you think? Oh, I think they're beautiful. Let's get them off, Bobby. And I, I just can't wait to taste. And now, Bobby, we've got one little problem. What is it? It's too hot for me to eat. Well, <laughs> why don't we blow on them? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Told you these things were great. Mm. 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 It's burning the crap out of me, but it's worth it. Oh my God. Mm. Mine came out of the. Love them. Mm. Love them. Mm. 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 Bobby. Mm. 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 The bread? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm hmm. Mm, it's hot. Mm hmm. Look a here now, y'all. Son, why don't you cut us a few slices? Mm. Oh, Bobby. Mm. 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 You know what this would be great with? What? That steak that's marinating down there. Oh my gosh. You want to put is. together some skewers? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bobby, this is incredible. You can cook for me any time, day or night. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go. <laughs> you and I must just be gross standing here while a mouth's full of food. All right. Now, I'm going to take a half a stick of butter. <laughs> Imagine that. And I'm making the sauce to cook our onions in over here. But, son, that steak looks delicious even raw. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are hungry. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm starving, Bobby. And this is the secret ingredient now for those onions. I'm going to use one teaspoon of beef bouillon granules. Mm -hmm. Not the cube, but the granules. All right. And we're just going to let that melt on our hot top grill. All right, so Bobby, I'm, I'm going to... This was a big onion, so I'm going to scale them down a little bit. All right. So once again, y'all, we're using the wooden skewers that we've had in water. And we're just going to take those skewers, mm -hmm. and we'll start with an onion, piece of beef, mm -hmm. and just one more onion and beef piece, y'all. And that's it. You want to put them on the grill? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yum, look at that. Mm -hmm. Looks great. All right, now I've got some brushes, Bobby. And I'm just going to start brushing those onions. And that beef bouillon is going to help our little onions to brown. Mm -hmm. There we go. What a fabulous meal we have grilled up. Well, my mouth's watering. <laughs> I'm swallowing so hard. Yum. And y'all, these skewers only need to cook for about three to five minutes per side. All right, Bobby. All right, Mama. I'm still, look, I'm putting extra butter. You've been eating the whole time. I'm starving, <laughs> son. Your cooking is so good. Neither one of us is starving. <laughs> <laughs> See, and y'all, it took hardly any time to cook. All right, and here's one for me. And another one for me. <laughs> and another one for me. Wow. <laughs> now taste this. Yeah. Look at that. Now see, I love it medium rare. Well, that's about what I got too. Mmm, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that pot of butter and bouillon cube. <laughs> No, it ain't. Mm. <laughs> yes, it are. Here, son. Taste that that I dipped in the butter and the bouillon. Yeah. And I just adore the onions, Bobby. Mm. Mm. Are these things not perfect together, son? Mm. Up next, Bobby and I are going to be finishing up the best pear cobbler that you've ever seen. Whoa! Did you see fire? I didn't. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, we have taken our pear cobbler out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Bobby has gotten the ice cream out of the freezer. Mm -hmm. Now, Bobby, you know how we had a few of those pears left over? I do. All right, well, you know what I'm going to do? You know how I can't stand to waste stuff? I'm just going to dice these pears up. I put a little butter. So we're going to saute these, pe these pears in a little bit of butter? Yes. <laughs> oh, but listen, I ain't done yet, son. All right. All right, baby, burn that stuff up. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You know, people oh. just don't think about doing this kind of 
stuff to fruit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> maybe, maybe their mother is not as creative as my mother is. <laughs> Crafty. <laughs> Crafty. <laughs> got to make do with All what right, you got. All right, son, why don't you dip us up a little pear cobbler. All right. Is a fork all right for your cobbler? Well, actually, I'm going to want a spoon because we're having ice cream. Okay, well, here's your spoon. Perfect. All right. You want me to try to keep this pretty or just do it? Make it pretty and do it. Man. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. All right, Bobby, now look at here, son. I'm gonna add a little of my homemade pear honey and pour over in there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's smelling good, too. Whoa, did you see fire? I didn't. <laughs> yeah, son, put us a scoop of ice cream on there. I was warm, and it's not gonna let that ice cream stay like that for long. I know, it will pass me my bowl. <laughs> Just a few extra pears for mm. the good children. Mm. Oh, my mm. God. Do you like it, son? It's better than I thought it was going to be. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Mm. Good job. Pear is my favorite, son. That is out of sight. I wish y'all could taste this so bad. Well, you can. You can do it at home. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.